The United States have offered a reward of up to 10 million US dollars for information that would allow the US to disrupt the finances of Lebanon's Shiite militant movement Hezbollah. The State Department said it would give money to anyone who could provide intelligence that allows the United States to disrupt Hezbollah in key ways, including information on Hezbollah's donors on financial institutions that assist its transactions and on business controlled by the movement. More on this in the report. For Mugambi President Yaya Jami's partner, the Lebanese tycoon Mohamed Bazi now stands accused of global terrorism by the U.S. Department of Treasury. Bazi, a shrewd businessman who mostly resides in the tiny West African nation of the Gambia for the past decade, is being named as behind-the-scenes business transactions that transpired between him and ex-President Jame. Mohamed Ibrahim Bazi is a Hezbollah financer who has fundraised millions of dollars for Hezbollah through his business activities in Belgium, Lebanon, Iraq, and Gambia. Mohamed Bazi now faces the wrath of the long and mighty arm of the United States judicial system after the Trump administration yesterday offered up to 10 million US dollars for information on Lebanese Hezbollah's financial networks. This was announced by the State Department marking the first time the US has offered rewards for information on Hezbollah's financial networks. Washington is seeking information on the, its rewards for justice program that could be used to disrupt revenue streams and pointed to three key finances as examples of the types of individuals it wants more details. They include Adham Tabaja, a Lebanese real estate developer the State Department said is intimately tied to Hezbollah, Mohamed Ibrahim Bazi, an alleged Hezbollah financier, and Ali Yusuf Karara, a telecoms businessman with interest in West Africa. All three have been designated global terrorists by the U.S. Hezbollah has been a designated terrorist organization in the U.S. since 1997.